Good morning, friends. Well, I just wanted to reach out to you to tell you a little bit about what I've been thinking about this week. I've had the opportunity to be in Asheville working with my coach and mastermind. And I always love these retreats because it's a time to do some deep inquiry and to just uh, do some growing. So one of the things that stood out for me this week that I wanted to share was the way my coach always starts out our sessions with some time to center and to just be silent. Uh, she calls it the sacred pause, um, which is uh, common to a lot of traditions. And in fact, when I'm working with individual health seekers, we always start with some centering too. And I wanted to talk about why that's important. You know, we live in such a busy world. We're so connected that we are constantly being stimulated. And um, that has an effect on our bodies, on our minds, on our spirits. And so all of that stimulation without some equal time for rest, as we know, is not good for us. But beyond just being important physiologically, taking time to pause also allows us to get out of our head and to deepen a little bit um, the way we listen to ourselves. So I want to talk about three ways that you can create some space in your life for that pause, that pause that refreshes. So first of all, it's very easy to take a moment throughout your day and one of the best ways that I know to do this is just to take some deep breaths. You may want to learn some breaths, some breathing techniques. Um, there's some great techniques in yoga and in uh, Qigong. But really, if you just take some slow, deep breaths, besides causing you to just slow down, it also stimulates that part of your body, which is the, um, the rest and relaxation response. So just taking a couple of deep breaths, and the great thing is that you can do it with your eyes open, you can do it with your eyes closed, you can do it in sitting in the middle of traffic. Sometimes we may need it in the middle of traffic. So it's very quick, but it just kind of recenters you and lets you regroup. But a lot of times we forget to do that. The other thing that you can do, um, taking more time, is creating some structured time throughout your day, um, not throughout your day, but throughout your week, like every day would be a great thing to do. Maybe taking, maybe starting out with five minutes or 10 minutes, or maybe even 20 or 30 minutes. You know, the busy, busier you are, the more time you need to recover. So allowing yourself that time, putting it on your calendar or making it a regular habit that flows in, the, in your day. And this could be a time that you um, pray, or it could be a time when you meditate. It could be a time when you do some breathing or some yoga. Any of those practices which allow you just to feel that spaciousness, to quiet your mind, to listen, and to um, start to connect with that deeper part of yourself. And then the third thing I want to say is that allowing your si yourself some time to retreat is wonderful. I have been so blessed the last couple of months to be on sabbatical. I created this sabbatical after I had a health event a couple of months ago, and it has been really, really wonderful. A time of renewal. I've learned so much about myself, and so it's really been a gift. And you don't have to take two months. You could take a weekend, but some time to really allow some downtime and to unplug, you know, to create some rules around um, how often you're going to let yourself be hyper-connected. So I just want to think, invite you to think about where do you allow those pauses in your day, whether it's for a brief moment, whether it's for uh, a longer time in the course of your day, or how you schedule it throughout your months and years um, of your life. So I invite you to look at that and to, you know, not just think about it, but develop a practice and maybe put it in your calendar or make a plan with someone who will support you in doing that so that you actually claim that space for yourself. You know, the world will always crowd on, in on us if we allow it. So we have to take a stand. This is one of those big rocks um, priorities that we do for ourselves because it helps us to be 
our best selves so that we can give the gifts that we have to offer the world. We can offer them better when we're well. So I just invite you to think about that. And um, in the meantime, may you be well.